previously on Cultosaur. Slowly put the gun down. Jesus, Jimmy, no! Go. I know you're upset, but I can explain. Frank was making me feel uneasy. I had to say something in order to distract him. How was I supposed to know that Satan would spill the beans? I mean, he's Satan. Don't you have anything to say? I said I was sorry. You know what you had to do. No, I, I can't. My patience is running thin, fag A. I'm not gonna clean up another one of your messes. Take the gun. There's no way I'm doing this. You know what? Maybe I'm not right for this position. Here. Take your gun. It's yours. It's your gun. When I say it's your gun. All right, let's go with the blitz. I want every single person to blitz. Every one of you to blitz. All right, go. I said blitz! Get in there! Blitz! 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 Can we get some water and a juicy fruit? And some of that stupid spearmint crap. Hello, with Mrs. Johnson, please. Oh, it's speaking. All right. Yes, my name is Bobby Bryan. I'm calling with the Cutlery Professionals of America, the CPA. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you about a new line of product that we have coming out. It's... You, you're not in... Well, you, can I just finish my spiel here? Mrs. Johnson, can I... Can I finish my spiel? Can I give you my pitch? Come on, Mrs. Johnson! I know where you live! I have your address on here! I'm gonna go to your house and I'm gonna cut you with these damn knives! I'm gonna cut right through the bone, cause that's what they do! Mrs. Johnson, are you still there? Mrs. Johnson! Hey, can you give me some water? A glass of water, tall glass of water, and some juicy fruit. Hey Marvin. Yeah, we got a 747 coming in from Detroit, Michigan. Detroit. Well, I don't care if you pronounce it like that. I say Detroit. Yes, they're coming from Detroit, Michigan. Can you just please get them prepped for landing? Marvin, listen to me. I don't care how you say it. Detroit, Michigan. Hey, Jimmy! Hey! Can you give me some water? Some juicy fruit! Alright, kids. We're gonna run a 60 Zorro twist. It means you guys are gonna trade spots. You're gonna come out to the inside, you take each other's gaps. You guys go to the outside, you go to the inside. Or you're not listening. You go to the outside, he goes to the inside, 
and you go around and you, you make the tackles. Kids, come on. Just get the guy with a ball. Just tackle the kid with a ball. Jimmy, get him, Jimmy! Get him! Jimmy! Tackle him! He's scoring! Come on, Jimmy! Hey, Jimmy's dad, you got any water? Some juicy fruit. Welcome to Edwin's Fast Food, where we make food and you eat it. This is Bobby speaking. I may be of service to you. No, they're only 99 cents on Wednesdays. Today's Tuesday. You're a day too early, I'm sorry. You know what? I don't make the prices. I don't set the prices or the schedules. Okay, you, you're gonna take one either way? Yeah, one, 199. I'm sorry, you don't have to cuss at me. I, yeah, they're 199. Three of them. Okay. Please drive up, I'll give you a toad at the window. Hey, Harvey, you got any juicy fruit? Some water? Yeah, juicy fruit. Got some spearmint. I didn't ask for any spearmint, Harvey! And then I walked in and, well, she was there. Didn't really expect it. It's a pretty awesome story. <laughs> totally. I wish I liked girls. I wish I did. Well, I'll be the restroom. So how big was her penis? Good evening and welcome to Livewire. My guest tonight is Bill Matthew, author of I Want My America Back, which proposes the abolishment of the 19th Amendment, which of course gave women the right to vote. Welcome to the show, Bill. Thank you for having me. Now, with all due respect, Bill, you actually believe that abolishing the 19th Amendment would be within the country's best interest? Oh, absolutely. I believe our nation was at its strongest when a male's influence was the only influence. You can look back at any significant moment in our country's history and in no way, shape, or form are women involved. <laughs> oh my god, you can't be serious, Bill, are you? Oh, I'm dead serious. I mean, just look at the facts. Abolishment of slavery, man, Louisiana Purchase, man, Declaration of Independence, man. Remember, it's founding fathers, not making mothers. Oh well, there's going to be an awful lot of people that are opposed to this, myself included. Oh, I'm sure there will be. People hate what they don't understand. I fully expect to be crucified for my beliefs. You might even say I'm like Jesus, who is also a man. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bill, but I'm not going to stand by while you preach your chauvinistic beliefs. You know, it's people like you that stop this country from making any progress. People like me? It's people like me who are keeping this country from becoming like the Titanic. You know, there's a reason why we never had a woman president before, because if we did, she'd steer us right into an iceberg. You gotta do some research before you start making ignorant comments like that one. If you ask me, the 19th Amendment was exactly what this country needed. This land is a land of opportunity. And that opportunity should be spread across the board evenly. All it takes is common sense to realize that women aren't smart enough to have any influence. I say we let the real men lead this country while the misses do the dishes. You are, without a doubt, the most ignorant man I've ever met. May God have mercy on your soul. Uh, what am I talking about? It's probably not your fault. It's probably your upbringing. I was raised just fine by my father, thank you very much. Let me guess, who raised you? <laughs> your mother? Hey, hey, you stop right there. Leave my mother out of this. You're crossing the line, sir. You know, I have a little thing called freedom of speech, you liberal leech. 
I'll say whatever I want. Oh, oh yeah? Your hair is stupid. There's pee on it. Sure, you're a little confused. You have every right to be. Meet me where we spent our last time together. All will be revealed. Should I come with you, my son? No. I do this. How many of you men out there know for a fact that your husbands aren't messing around with any other man? Did I say you could raise your hands? The act of polygamy is often associated with straight men, but in this small town lives the only registered homosexual polygamist in the country. Meet John. My name is John, and these are my husbands, John, John, and John. I'm so glad we happen to have the same name. It makes things so much easier. Hey John, could you take out the trash? Uh, no, no, I wasn't calling you, I was calling John. No, 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 not you. I want John. Didn't you hear me? I said John. What? I heard my name. I know my lifestyle might rub some people the wrong way. I don't expect them to understand it. But think about it, fellas. Three men willing to do your bidding? <laughs> I'm living the dream. So you're okay with this? None of this seems strange to you? Absolutely not. Before getting married, I wasted my life working in a bread factory. Did you ever wonder who puts the crust on bread? Well, you're looking at them. 
As far as I'm concerned, this is an upgrade. How about you? Oh no. I live with an unbalanced dictator who serves me the same meal three times a day, every day. What's so strange about that? The meal he's referring to is a unique paste which contains everything John believes a healthy man should consume. I won't tolerate any crumb bums living in my house, which is why I only serve them protein-rich food. Eggs, chicken, fish, pork. Oh, how they love their pork. I notice you were a bit hesitant to eat your food. Don't you like it? Yeah, I'm, I'm just getting a little tired of it. It was at this point where we started to notice a change in John's behavior. While others were enjoying their polygamistic lifestyle, he just sat there with an empty look in his eyes. The next day, while the others were out doing lawn work, John stayed indoors and stared at the ceiling for three hours. What are you doing? You're supposed to be out there doing your chores. I'll do them later. Oh no. You'll do them now. No! I know some people might find whipping barbaric, but keep in mind, we live in Oklahoma. I'm tired of it! I'm out! What do you mean, you're out? We're married for life, slave. You heard me! We're through, honey! I'm tired of losing all my dignity! Now if you'd excuse me, I'm going back to the bread factory. Fine. Leave! You're the worst John I've ever married anyway. I learned that being a good husband means treating your other spouses like equals. You don't realize how bad you are until one of your husbands ups and walks out on you. It's been a while, brother. What's wrong? Looks like you've seen a ghost. How's this possible? I saw you die in my arms. I won't bore you with the details. Let's just say he works in mysterious ways. Jimmy, you're the one who's behind this? Trust me, Frank. It's for the greater good. The Capitarians are the key to mankind's survival. Thanks to our father, I finally see the light. So you killed Satan? Satan was never one to be a team player. It had to be done. Besides, you're one to talk. It's not like I'm the only one to commit a sin. It's your fault. Faraday is dead. It was self-defense! I had no choice. Everyone has a choice. You simply made the right one. Just like me. I'm nothing like you. Not anymore. You couldn't be further from the truth. 
We're bonded by blood, brother. Not even death can keep us apart. You're wrong. Join us. Join us and the world will be at our feet. You're the missing piece of the puzzle. I won't! Don't you want to be part of a real family? Don't you want to reunite with our dad? Please, Frankie. It's the right thing to do. Come here. You honestly think I'd want you on our side? <laughs> You've always been the inferior brother. I wish you hadn't stuck your nose where it didn't belong. You brought this on yourself. At least now, Faraday will have his company. With you out of the picture, the Capitarians will reign supreme. You've served your purpose. Now he can die. Dear Lord, forgive me. I'm about to do. Ah! Yes, sir. The brother is dead. And Jimmy? No, sir. He didn't make it out alive either. Yes, the fool actually believed he would be reunited with his father. I agree. In fact, I would advise against resurrecting him again. Yes, sir. I witnessed it all from a distance. No one knows who I really am. Not even Jimmy knew my true identity. Either way, the plan was a success. Mankind belongs entirely to you. With Satan out of the way, there's no question who the real king is. Congratulations. God. Agent Westchester, signing off. Thank <laughs> you.